Hey YouTube family, Zero Tech Skills coming back at you today. Uh, today I want to do a review, or actually an overview. Uh, there's plenty of uh, reviews of this watch on the internet, especially YouTube. Uh, this is just my um, one of my favorite watches in my watch collection. This is the Citizen EcoZilla. Um, it's a solar-powered EcoDrive quartz watch. Uh, it is... It's an amazingly huge watch. Uh, let me get the specs out of the way for you guys. It's it's 46 millimeters wide. Um, it's 18 millimeters thick. So it looks like a giant hockey puck pretty much. So it's, it, it is a big substantial watch. Uh, the weight on this one is a little over six six ounces. Um, or 178 grams, I uh, weighed it out, my food scale. Um, it has a uh, thick mineral crystal uh, at, I think, 6 millimeters thick. So it's, it's a substantial non-reflective mineral crystal that this watch has. Um, it is a quartz movement uh, powered by uh, Citizen's EcoDrive, meaning that... Uh, it only takes either direct sunlight or, you know, just basic lighting at the house for it to function. And um, it has a power reserve of 180 days. So, you know, you bring it outside, you bring it under some lights, you know, you put it away for 180 days and chances of it running, you know, after it's been in the dark for 185 days are, are actually excellent. So, so this is uh, Citizen's amazing um Eco drive system. Uh, let's see. It has a rotating bezel. Uh, it's only uh, one direction that it rotates in. But um, but yeah. So it's a little it's a little tough to rotate. Um, but that's okay. That's um, you don't want it rotating on you when you're uh, diving or wearing the watch. Um, I do dive. Uh, I'm a uh, recreational diver. I got my diving license last year, but haven't really had the ex ha haven't been back um, in the water for a while because of work. But um, I hope to get out there. Uh, let's see what else. Um, it has a urethane strap, uh, urethane rubber strap. It's incorporated into the uh, into the body of the uh, watch, but it is removable, um, and you do need adapters and you could get adapters from uh either on ebay there's a company that sells them and um supas supas is another one that sells them uh, you can get them in titanium or or stainless steel brushed this is a stainless steel version of the watch there is a titanium version of the same exact watch and then there's a automatic version of this watch also in titanium and I believe all three watches are no longer being produced. So if you still, I mean, you can still find the stainless steel versions. Um, they're still selling out there. They're pretty cheap, I think. I mean, a over 200 bucks, relatively cheap. And um, if you're interested, I would get them before they totally sell out. Because, like I said, they're not they're not getting um, made anymore by Citizen. Uh, this is a 300 meter. Uh, water resistant watch. Um, excuse me, that's my dog. He's choking on water. Come on, buddy. There you go. Every time he drinks water, he chokes. Go figure. But yeah, so so this watch is a hefty watch. It is. It's it's a beautiful watch. I mean, just look at. The, it's almost comical. It's almost a comical movie watch. Uh, it's so big and um, so robust and and just. You know, I think it's a beautiful watch. Like I said, it's one of my favorite in in the uh, in my watch collection. I have uh, many watches, which I hope to get to show you guys off. Um, but it is like a puck. I mean, look how thick it is—18 millimeters. And uh, look at that case back. It's uh, it's a really beautiful case back. I mean, look at it. One of my favorite case backs. Uh, let me show you what it looks like on my 7.25 inch wrist. Um, the buckle's pretty unique. I don't mind the strap. Um, 
I want to get a pair of the Supa adapters, but they are not in stock at the moment. I, I believe they're getting produced as we speak, so it'll be another month or two before coming to stock. But I want to try them out, see how, you know, so you could change out the strap to a different rubber strap, or um, you see the buckle is signed right here, EcoZilla, or EcoDrive, I'm sorry. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, so this is what the watch looks like on my uh, 7.25 inch wrist. Not too, too big looking, I don't think. I think it just fits just right on my wrist. It might be, you know, if you have a bigger wrist, God bless you, it probably look much better. If you have a smaller wrist, you know, you're taking your chance. But I really love this watch. It's the Citizen EcoZilla um, EcoDrive watch. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Even if you're not a diver, it's just, just a beautiful piece. It's well done. Fit and finish is excellent. And, um, oh, the glow. It really does beautiful, beautiful blue glow um, at night. And uh, really is a beautiful watch. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this overview. And I hope to be back with you with another overview soon. All right, see you later.